Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to create a progress donut chart with conditional formatting in Excel. So this is part two in the video series. In the last video, in part one, I explained how to create the progress donut chart and when and where we can use this chart within our reports and dashboards. So if you missed that video, go check that one out. There's a link below this video to check out that video. In this video, we're going to learn how to apply conditional formatting so that when the number, the progress number changes. Uh, if we change this here, we can change it to 76. We can see that the color of the bar in the chart changes as well. Change this to something above 95%, it'll change to green. And again, this technique just uses a donut chart and some formulas in Excel. So it's a little bit of setup work here, but it's fairly easy to implement. So let's go ahead and dive in and get started. So the first step is that we need to set up our source data. And I already have it set up here, but I wanna explain how this works. So in this cell right here in cell C2, we have our actual amount. This will be our actual progress amount. And then down here in these rows, we have our data values. So these will be the values that are plotted on the chart and these are controlled with formulas with the if function so we can see in this cell here I have this simple if statement that's just saying that if if the actual value is less than or equal to 75%, which is this first level here then we're going to return the actual value which is cell C2 if it's not, then we're just gonna return a blank. And in this case, I have a space here, so I have double quotes, I have a space, and then uh, double quotes again, and that's just uh, used for our data label, which we'll talk about a little later. But we're just gonna return a blank there, basically, if this condition is not met. And then so in this cell here, it's the same basic thing. The if statement gets a little more complex. We used the, uh, uh, we're gonna use the and function here to evaluate multiple criteria. And those criteria are if the uh, actual value is greater than the level one, which is 75, and the actual value is less than or equal to level two, which is 95%. So basically, if this value is between these two values, then we're going to return this value here, the actual value to the cell. If not, we're gonna return that blank again. And then the final uh, if statement here is same thing. It's just saying if the actual value is greater than level two value, then return the value here. If not, return a blank. And that's what it's doing right here. So we can see if we change this value now, I'll change this to 55%, we'll get 55% displayed right here because it's less than our level one amount. If we were to change it to a value between those two, I'll change it to 80%. We can see 80% is displayed here uh, because it's between these two levels, those amounts there. And then the final thing we have is the remainder amounts. So this remainder here is again going to be that 100% or, or the number one minus our actual value. And I have that max function there again in case the actual value goes over 100%. So once we have all that setup work done, then we can create our chart, insert our chart. And I'm gonna quickly change this back to level one. I'll just change it to 55%. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is select these two cells right here. So I'm gonna select the cell that says data series. You can name this whatever you want. And then the first value in the column. And then I'm gonna to go to the insert tab on the ribbon. We're gonna insert our donut chart from the pie menu here insert a donut and we can see we have the donut right here donut charts here let me just resize it and so right now it's just displaying 55 percent and it only has one value so we want to include all the values that we have in the list here and we can easily do that by just hovering the mouse over the bottom right corner of the cell and until it turns into those arrows and then left click and drag it down to include all of these cells so that's added all four of these values to the data series in the donut chart. And we can see those here in the legend and anything that returns a blank. So any blank cells will not be displayed on the donut chart. So that's kind of the trick here. So we're gonna have these blank cells that won't be displayed until the actual value changes, which would change the actual value down here in one of these cells, and then the value will be displayed. So now really the next step is just applying our colors. So we can see here that level one, the 55%, it's currently this blue color, so we might want to left click it, left click twice, 
go to the format tab. Maybe we'll change this fill to an orange and then we'll change our actual value here to something in level two. So I'll just change it to 80%. And we can see that's also colored orange right now. So I'm gonna double left click again, go to format, might wanna change that. We'll change it to blue. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll change this to 96% so that we're at level three. And level three is currently gray. So double left click and we'll change this one. We'll make it green just like that. And we also wanna change our remainder value. So double left click that one. We'll change it to a light gray. So all of our setup work is now done. Again, if we change this back to let's say 55%, we'll see that our bar turns orange. 80% uh, for level two, it turns blue. And then we, as we just saw, anything over 95%, it will turn green. So the last step is just to clean up the formatting of the chart and also apply the data label. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna remove the legend, just left click it and delete, and that'll remove our legend. And now we wanna add those data labels again to the center of the chart using that text box. So again, make sure the uh, chart is selected first, then go to the insert tab on the ribbon under this illustrations. Uh, we're gonna choose the text box shape and we'll just draw it right in here. And as we saw in the previous video, we're just gonna link this. So we'll just select the perimeter there of the shape, go to the formula bar, type equals. And in this case, we want it to equal uh, the first uh, level here, the label for the first level where that cell would be displayed. And so that would equal C5. So we could see it's referencing C5 on this sheet and we'll hit enter. And that's, we're not currently seeing anything in there right now because that's a blank cell. But if we were to change this back, we'll change it to 55%. We'll now see that 55% in this text box right here. And again, we can go apply all that formatting. I'll just quickly change the color of it like that. So we have some color in that cell. And then we'll do the same thing again. We'll just repeat that process. And you can do that by either inserting another text box or we can copy and paste this text box. And keyboard shortcut for that is Control D. So hold down the Control key and then press D and that will duplicate the shape. So we now have a duplicate copy of that shape. And now all we wanna do is change the link instead of C5 that's going to be C6. So just change that to C6. And then we can change our value here, change it to 80. And we'll see here's our text box or our label for the 80%. Again, we might wanna change the color there. And then we'll do the same thing, just control D to duplicate that shape as well. And we'll change that one to C7. And then go here, change our actual value. And now we have our label here for our level three. And again, we'll change that color. So again, you wanna take the time to center align all of those shapes or all the text boxes there. But once you have that, as you change, again, change the value here, you'll see that the label will change as well and the color of the label will change. So we have custom labels that match up with the color of the bar for that specific level. And as I mentioned in the previous video, we can obviously duplicate these and create multiple donut or progress donut charts and then display those on a dashboard and they can all share that same conditional formatting, but we can uh, evaluate different metrics or display progress on different metrics in a dashboard or report. And it looks great, very easy for the reader to consume this and understand what it means and also see that progress happening and see those color changes. So it's great very simple chart, but it can also be very effective in your dashboards. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help answer them. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.